Hi, this is Dr. Rob Rosberg from Hospital for Special Surgery, and I wanted to um, spend some time on the topic of when to amputate and when to reconstruct a uh, limb at risk. Uh, this is an excerpt from a previous uh, recent lecture that I gave in Dallas, Texas. All the patients with identity shown have given consent. And there is some graphic uh, detail of surgery contained in this lecture. There is a time for everything. Uh, that is a common um, uh, philosophy and idea that um, is present. And I think it does apply to the idea of uh, limb salvage versus amputation. There's a time for limb salvage. There's a time for amputation. But the decision-making process about what is the best uh, approach for each individual patient can be quite complex. Um, it involves a variety of factors that lead to the uh, decision making, and these include the extent of the injury, the surgeon's ability to deal with a particular situation, the expected functional outcome, and very importantly, the patient's emotional state and where they are in the uh, recovery and reconstruction of the particular injury. And when you weigh all of these factors, um, it is helpful uh, in making the decision between limb salvage and amputation reconstruction. It is a personal decision. We have a lot of positive experience with limb salvage for limbs at risk, both clinically, we've published on this, Here's an example. Uh, Gabrielle had a very extensive injury, which led to the loss of her talus bone. Um, initially treated with a talus implant, uh, but over time, this uh, eroded into the tibia and into the talus, and this was no longer a viable option for her. This is a complex limb salvage problem because there is bone loss of five centimeters or 50 millimeters. Limb salvage approach was taken and this uh, entailed a combination of ankle arthrodesis or a tibiocalcaneal fusion after removal of the talus implant and then a proximal osteotomy for lengthening of the tibia to make up for the bone loss. So you see it's a bifocal approach. There are two areas that are being worked on the ankle arthrodesis, and the lengthening. The patient is allowed to stand and walk during the treatment. And at the end of a successful treatment, there is uh, fusion of the tibia to the calcaneus and also the lengthening site of the uh, tibia with the internal lengthening rod. The functional outcome was great. She had equal leg lengths, no deformity and was That's able good. to Let's walk going back. quite well. In contrast, a similar patient of similar age uh, presented also after a um, total talus implant um, that had been placed. This patient was not doing well. You can see the talus implant is very unstable. She was unable to walk. She had developed CRPS, chronic regional pain syndrome. You can see the discoloration and the changes in the bone uh, at that time. This too was a limb at risk. And we presented the patient with two options. One was a tibiocalcaneal fusion with stage lengthening, similar to what I showed you in the previous case. The second was a baloney amputation with immediate osseointegration. This patient had been dealing with this for a long time um, and desired a um, fast recovery. And the patient desired um, and opted for the amputation reconstruction with osseointegration. For this patient, this was a good option. The integration planning is done off of the x-ray. The amputation level is planned the length and the diameter of the implant is planned off of the CT scan. 
during the surgery, a uh, press fit uh, titanium porous coated implant is inserted, and at the same time, targeted muscle reinnervation was done to uh, treat and prevent uh, nerve pain and phantom nerve pain. Postoperatively, a progressive loading protocol uh, was implemented, starting with 20 pounds and increasing by 5 pounds every other day. The prosthetic leg was attached at 10 weeks. Here you can see the patient uh, walking independently and without assistance at four months after the date of surgery. Another example of osseointegration for a baloney amputation is illustrated here with Jesse. I think you have these new shorts. He is showing uh, the process of removing and uh, reapplying the prosthetic leg. There is no socket that is necessary. That's easy. Voila. And at one year, his functional level has improved dramatically, and he is uh, uh, showing the uh, ascension of a hill in Central Park. <laughs> so in conclusion, um, limb salvage versus amputation reconstruction is a complex decision that is individualized for each patient. It depends on the extent of the injury, the surgeon's ability to deal with that injury and reconstruction, the expected functional outcome, and the patient's emotional state. And all of this um, uh, is taken into account. Discussion between the surgeon and the patient um, is had, and an individualized treatment plan is created for that particular patient. Thank you for your attention.